Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. Guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can programmatically control the behavior of your workspace tabs and sub tabs in Salesforce. So workspace tabs are available in Lightning console application and using workspace APIs, now we can control the behavior of these tabs programmatically. I'll show you how you can open a new tab, close the previous one, how you can navigate between these tabs, like moving on to next tab and moving back to previous tab, how you can focus a specific tab, how you can change color, how you can add icon. All these things we'll be learning through a custom Lightning Web component in this video. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So guys, for today's video, I have already created a component. You can see a component here, which is having multiple buttons. There's a button for uh, specific actions like open a new tab, open sub tab, how you can change label, set tab icon, highlight tab, next tab, previous tab, disable tab close button, this close button here and enable tab close button. And uh, here is my lightning web component for that. So I have already created the lightning web component for this specific example just to save time in this video okay and uh, in this video i'll be explaining the functionality of each of these workspace api tabs one by one all right so we'll start with the meta xml file so in meta xml file you can see i have just enabled it uh, for the lightning app page and uh, i have exposed this specific lightning web component and on my org so this is a console application i have created as workspace tabs are only available in the console applications okay so we'll start with open tab now to use workspace tab you need to make sure you're using workspace apis so there's a different api for each of these actions and i'll explain those actions one by one on this video so the first action is open tab so on the ui as you can see i'm just having a couple of buttons here based on the specific functionalities so we'll start with the first button which is open tab so here i have created a lightning uh, button and on the click of this button i'm calling this specific function which is open tab here okay so this is the open tab function guys where you just need to pass the object api name that you need to open and the action of it so for example uh, in this uh, specific demo i'm just opening the contact objects list view so it will be just opening the list page of the contact object okay so to open a page you just need to add the page reference in the type you can add standard object page as this is the object page here i'm passing the uh, object api and here i'm passing the action as well okay and uh, apart from that i need to have focus on the newly opened tab so that's why i have added focus true and this is the label of the contact tab okay so these are a couple of attributes that you need to pass to open a new tab using workspace uh, apis so i'll quickly go to my page i'll refresh it once and now if i will click on open tab you can see there is a new workspace tab open called contact list which is basically displaying the list view the default list of the contact object that you will be getting on the contact object itself so that's how you can open a new tab uh, using workspace apis you can open any custom uh, application or any custom tab name as well using this for example i'm having the same button here as well which is workspace api launcher component i'll quickly show you the component so this is the workspace api launcher component and here as, as well i'm having this button where i'm calling this open tab function okay and in this open tab i'm using navigate mixing here and uh, using navigate mixing i'm just navigating to this specific tab by passing the attribute and the api name of that tab application so my api name of the workspace tab is workspace api so if i click here it is going to open this specific tab in the case if the tab is already open it is going to navigate to that specific tab so as you can see the contact list is already open here if i click on contact open tab so it will be just navigating me uh, to that open tab okay it won't be opening another tab for that 
we'll quickly move to the next one which is uh, open sub tab on and closing tab that means at so as i'm having the button here open sub tab on and closing tab that means it is going to open the sub tab uh, within this tab only because this is the enclosing tab right now okay so this is the function that i'm using find and closing tab and open sub tab now on the back end if you will see here so here we are using open sub tab here that you need to include uh, from the platform workspace apis library so i'm including open sub tab here and for this open tab you need to include open tab and uh, there is another attribute you need to include which is enclosing tab id which will return the tab id of the current tab whatever is going to be the current tab of this application it is going to return the id of that application of that specific tab okay so now as a sub tab as well guys i'm opening the same list which is again contact list so the page reference part is same as i showed you here so this is the same part here as well and i'm opening this uh, contact list as a sub tab here okay so now if i'll click on this button it is going to open the same list here as a sub tab so now the same list i have opened here as a tab and uh, underneath this workspace api tab i'm using it as a sub tab here okay so that's how you can open a sub tab in the current focused tab by passing the id of that tab now I'll show you how you can change the label. So there's another button I have created to change label of the specific tab and I'm calling this change label function here. Now if we'll go to change label, here in uh, change label, first I'm getting the focused tab information. The focus tab means a selected tab, okay? So for that we are using get focus tab info attribute here, which is again coming from this workspace API. And we are using set tab label here which is another attribute in this workspace api okay now first we need to get information of the focus tab uh, so basically we will be getting the tab id from this focus tab info and in set tab label you need to just pass the tab id with the new label that you want okay so for example if i'll go to my application again and uh, if i'll go to this okay now the label is workspace API. Now if I'll click on this set, uh, sorry, change label button, it is going to change the label. Now if you can see here, the label has been changed to Salesforce Bolt here and here as well because this is the focus tab right now, the first tab what I was having here. So that's how you can change the label of the focus tab in your workspace uh, console application, okay? And for that, I have showed you already, you need to include these two attributes, get focus tab info. Get focus tab info is a attribute that you're going to use in most of the functionalities because wherever, whenever you are making some change, right, you need to get the current tab information, your current tab ID. For example, let's say if you wish to navigate to some different tab, you need current tab ID, right, so that you can navigate to other tab accordingly. So this is going to be a common attribute that we'll be using in upcoming function as well. I'll quickly move to the next function, which is a set tab icon. So for this as well, I'm having a button here. And in the JavaScript, if you will see, so again, we are getting the tab ID using that same function, get focused tab info. And uh, calling this function is pretty simple. It is accepting parameters tab ID uh, icon that you need to have and uh, the alternate text what you want to have on that icon. So I have used set tab icon here in tab ID. I'm passing this constant here In icon. I'm having utility animal and nature icon and in icon alternate text. I'm having animal and nature. Okay. Now on my application, if I'll see here and if I'll click on uh, set tab icon. So right now it is having this heart icon. Now if I'll click on set tab icon. Now it is having that animal and nature icon, which looks like Cody in Salesforce. Yep. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can change the icon of the current tab. You can have different icons for different tabs. You can change it based on user's action maybe. All right, let's quickly move to the next functionality, which is highlight tab. Now to highlight a specific tab based on a specific uh, action performed by user, right? So for that, I am having a button here which says highlight tab and uh, here I'm calling this highlight tab function. Now in highlight tab, 
so this is another constant using which you can get you can check if it is already checked or not and also you can use it directly as well here by passing the value so we are using it directly here i'll remove this specific line okay then here we need to use the get focus tab info again to get the tab id then calling this function again is pretty simple set tab uh, set tab highlighted basically you need to pass tab id you need to pass uh, if you want to highlight true and false can be here if it is true you can make it false on the same button click right and there are two attributes that i have passed here it is pulse and state so pulse is basically having a dual tone transition whenever you're clicking on the button and a state you can have success warning and error there are three stages available three states available for that i'll quickly show it to you so if i click on highlight tab here you can see the tab has been highlighted in the green color now and it is having invert color here so yes the background is green so that's why the text is white now if i'll change it to warning instead okay and if i'll try to deploy it okay this is a pretty common and frequent error i was getting whenever i'm trying to deploy these workspace api components I believe these, this should be a temporary error. It says duplicate value found, duplicate value on record with ID. Cannot file anything component bundle workspace API. But whenever I'm deploying it using this uh, meta file, from this meta file actually, it is getting deployed. This is strange, but uh, yeah, that's how I'm getting rid of this errors. I believe uh, this is going to be a temporary error. And if you're also getting the same error try to deploy it from your uh, gs meta xml file okay now i'll quickly go to my application and refresh it okay now if i'll do okay this tab was opened already let me open it once again open workspace now if i have as i have clicked on this highlight tab it is having this warning theme on the tab itself right so that's how you can you know uh, change the theme of your tab as per available actions for user for example if uh, there's a constraint there's a form which is accepting user users consent and the user has missed uh, clicking on that checkbox and trying to save uh, while you're displaying an error on that page you can also change the tab color to provide a, I would say a good user experience wise right and the similar way you can use this warning theme as well okay I'll quickly move to the next available functionality which is to okay which is to tab, uh, navigate from one tab to another one so this is next tab and I'll show you these two which is next and previous tab right so for next and previous tab as well, there are specific libraries that you need, a specific attributes that you need, needs to include from that workspace API library. And for this highlight, uh, highlighted tab as well, there is this attribute that you need to import from this workspace API platform workspace API library. Okay. Now to move to the next tab and the previous tab, the functionality of it is uh, pretty simple. You just need to get list of available tab basically you need to get all the tabs available in the application itself and uh, then you need to find the index of the selected tab okay now if someone is clicking on next button you just need to add a add plus one in the index and uh, that's how you will be navigating so for that again we have used get focus tab info info to get the focus tab id okay and here we are using get all tab info. So for that, you need to import this get all tab info as well. And of course the focus tab. Okay. So here, I, as I mentioned, we are first trying to get the selected tab index. And uh, here basically we are getting the index of the selected tab by calling this find, ind find index function where we are getting the tab ID based on this tab ID here. Okay. And uh, to have the next tab ID guys, we are just again calling that same array all tabs and uh, we are getting selected tab index and we are adding one here and we are making it the tab ID, the current tab, current tab ID. 
and uh, here using this focus tab function we are focusing on that specific tab which is going to be current tab id uh, plus one okay now let me quickly show it to you so i'll refresh it once okay so i'll move it here now if i'll click on next tab it is going to navigate to the next available tab and if i'll move it here and click on the previous tab it is going to navigate me to the previous tab so similar code i have used for previous tab as well it is just uh, it is just like in the next tab we have added plus one and uh, in the previous tab we are uh, deducting a value a index value from the selected tab index so we are doing minus one here and then again we are focusing on the selected tab okay now there are another functionality which is basically to disable the tab close icon so there's a close icon here on the tab using which user will be able to close that specific tab you can control this as well programmatically okay so i have created two buttons here disable tab close and enable tab close both are using the same functionality with different attributes true and false okay so i'll show it to you here now this is disable tab closed so as usual you will need the tab id to perform any action so we are using get focus tab info here to get the tab id and then we are calling disable tab close you just need to pass tab id and true if you will pass true it is going to disable the tab if you are passing false in the similar manner it is going to enable that uh, cross icon again okay i'll quickly show you the functionality so as of now you can see here the workspace api the cross icon is available right now if i'll click on this disable tab so it will disable the cross icon here and if i'll click on enable tab close it is going to enable it again and by clicking on this icon user will be able to uh, close this specific tab so yeah so these were the pretty useful functionalities that you're going to use if you're you know working in workspace apis and planning to control the behavior of your workspace uh, console application programmatically so yeah uh, that it is for today and uh, if you're looking for the complete code guys so as always i'll be having this component on my blog which is realforceball.com so if you just wish to play around with the functionality you can simply copy and paste that code from here and uh, use it as per your requirement and that it is for today guys so if you like today's video or subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching